So the Kulu is used to call... Like a phone? Like a phone. <laughs> I don't have one of those yet, but I have one of these. Half a day. My name is Amber. You can call me Auntie Amber. What's your name? My name's Cody. Hi, Cody. So today, I'm going to teach you how to blow a kulu. Do you want to learn how to blow the kulu? Yeah. All you would need is a shell, one with a hole in it. This one has a poxy rope tied around it, but this is just to hold on to it. The first thing you're gonna do is learn how to hold the kulu. So when you're about to blow the kulu, you're gonna take this hand, your left hand, and you're gonna hold this part of the kulu, you see? That's what I've been doing. Yeah, okay, good. Then you're gonna take this part of this hand, your right hand, you can go to the, the tip of the kulu, there you go, and hold onto it. So now we're gonna put the kulu on our lap, and we're going to learn what we're gonna need to do with our lips. Check. Okay, <laughs> so you're going to need to puckle your lips, like that, good. And we're going to blow air out of our lips. Ready? Like this. Yeah, there you I'm go. A motorcycle. <laughs> One more time. Good. <laughs> okay, now Cody, let's put those two things together. We're gonna hold the kulu the way I showed you, and then the hole will face towards your mouth. So I'm going to Blow out of my mouth. Okay, I'm into the hole. Want to try? Okay, Cody. Hang on. Try blowing all the air through your your lips and not holding it in your cheeks because your I see your cheeks are puffing up. Let's try short ones first, okay? Just very short ones. Like that. Let's make that sound in the kulu. Can you do that? There. One more time. Push all that sound in the hole. <laughs> okay. Good try. Sometimes it takes a while for us to learn how to blow in the kulu, but as long as you keep practicing, you, you, I think you'll get it. So do you know what a kulu is used for? For like warning people and like for a special call. Yes. The kulu is used by our ancestors to call people together for ceremonies, blessings, arrivals, and departures. And we continue to use the kulu for those same reasons today. Who taught you how to blow the kulu? When I was little, I used to be a, a dancer, and a lot of the boys in the dance group used to blow the kulu before the show. And so I figured, you know, why can't I blow the kulu? So I asked my dad, my tata, to teach me how, and he taught me, and then eventually gave me my own kulu, which is what we're using today. Wait a minute. Did your dad give you both of these? Yes, he did. And my mom made the poxy rope that goes with it. Homemade. And she drilled the hole. I didn't know that they drilled it. I thought they just like used like rocks to stab a hole in it. So what I've been told is that they use another kind of shell to start drilling the holes into the kulus. The holes can be found on the side of the kulu like this, or at the top of the kulu. Okay, Cody, do you want to try one more time? Okay, ready? Small blows. There you go. There you go. Good job. Wow. Wow. That is the ancestor's work right there. Like, oh my God, it just gave me fuku. He's just, oh my gosh. 
So I use the Kulu when I go into spaces where they have laddie stones and places like Fua Rock. Um, and I blow the Kulu before I enter because I, I know that our ancestors will recognize the sound of the Kulu. And that's what connects us using the Kulu today to them. So now to say goodbye, do you want to blow the Kulu with me? Okay. All right. Wait a minute. Did you subscribe? Well, you better. For more videos and like down below. And hit the bell for more videos like this. And comment which was your favorite part.